Hey, thanks for joining again today as we continue to evaluate high growth opportunities to add to our portfolio as we are very interested in growing out this sector of our portfolio to provide outstanding uh, or tremendous returns into the future uh, in technology areas that are burgeoning, growing, developing, and are ready to really blossom. So carrying on with this this trend uh, in recent uh, episodes uh, is no different than today's episode. We're going to highlight yet another outstanding opportunity and evaluate and see if it's right for us right now. Um, as a reminder, uh, kind of lucky to do this at this point in time for myself because dividends received in uh, on a daily or weekly basis provide the extra cash push to diversify and go into these unique high-tech opportunities at fire sale prices or at early stage prices. So just want to throw that in and make sure that also to build out your portfolio of increasing that passive income as it provides a lot of opportunities to do things in the future if you need it at this point in time. Today's idea is Planet Labs uh, PBC. So what does Planet Labs do? Planet Labs, uh, well, they actually went went, uh, they became a company in 2010, so it's not that old, and they are dedicated to designing, building, and operating imaging satellites. Uh, they, their claim to fame is they were um, established by three NASA scientists who saw the need for this, and uh, this company actually went public just a couple of short years ago uh, via a SPAC vehicle. So what makes this very intriguing today is that the price or the market capitalization is significantly less than when it went public. Uh, yet the R&D has continued, the revenue expansion has continued, and they're inching ever closer to profitability. And this is a company that's getting a lot of traction, a lot of excitement. Um, it's sold off recently, but now rebounded uh, because of uh, a number of factors. I guess the other thing to point out is that the addressable market for this, they claim is in the tens of billions of dollars. Uh, even if it's just a fraction of that or half of that, there's a tremendous opportunity ahead. And they continue to sell to um, lots of governments uh, to use things, police forces, um, you know, things to look for, for environmental things such as deforestation that's occurring. or if crops are being planted in a certain area and shouldn't be planted, their AI technology that is embedded in their, in their products here uh, can analyze and scrub things to detect anomalies and point certain things out. So fascinating. This is, this is a great early stage company, but let's take a little bit closer look at some of the fundamentals and see if this holds out still. So Planet Labs ha has a market cap of about $1.7 billion, a stock that trades at about $4.10, give or take, and a range that's been basically between $2 and $5 a share uh, in the past year. I'll say that their year-to-date performance has done quite well. It's up about 67%, so fantastic uh, for, for them. Um, but over the longer picture, picture, since they went public back in 2022, it's down 55%. So this is the opportunity that I was pointing out earlier. Revenue, wow, it's, uh, I was surprised at how robust uh, the revenue is. About $230 million, give or take, and that's up 14%. Uh, so they're due to actually come out with earnings after market closes uh, this, this coming Monday. So we're just days away from, from uh, coming out with the next earnings on December of 9th. So there's an opportunity to take a look at this, evaluate this, and determine if it's for us be before those earnings come out. As some of the precursor headlines that have come out, they're getting more and more customer and contract wins. So remember how this company makes money is a more on a, it's a subscription basis. So they you are allowed to, as, as a buyer of the service, you're allowed to get access to the satellites and images. And this is a subscription-based based fee. So there is heavy repeat business and business clientele is expanding at a pretty good clip. So very interesting. It seems to be at the early stages 
of this uh, this this sort of a, of a need, and with bl satellites that blanket the Earth with uh, just incredible imagery, uh, this company seems to have it to have it covered. Now they use companies like SpaceX and others to actually launch the satellites, but the fact that they can design, build them, and have the software imagery embedded with AI to operate these, and then and then sell this to to world class organizations and, and government entities is very impressive. So the cash position, why wow, I was very impressed with that, almost $250 million of cash that they're sitting on. They're still burning cash, but that's because it's early stage. However, management has indicated that they have a very close eye on becoming profitable uh, in the near term future. So they're taking the steps necessary to get there. So where does this leave us? This is a company that I think I'm adding to my portfolio because I want to be exposed in this sector of the portfolio to high tech companies, early stage, that have tremendous growth ahead of them and let it ride for the long term. If you're a long term investor and OK, hanging on and writing out some of the volatility that's going to come with a, a stock like this, this is something you want to take a very close look at to add to your portfolio. I personally think that this is this is a Planet Labs is going to be a, a great addition to my portfolio, and I'll be very excited to watch this grow and develop in the coming quarters and years ahead. Hope that helps. Let me know your thoughts if you're buying, if you're already an investor, and to the future.